Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do an empties video. Um, these are just some of the products that I use up, just like all of my empties videos are. Oh my, this hair is going to drive me nuts. Okay, so this is just an empties video, and I hope you enjoy. The first things I'm going to start with are candles. Um, the first thing that I have is a clamshell from the, bo the body shop, the bathing garden, and this is in marshmallow cookie jar. Now, this smells incredible. Um, the first thing I really get is a cookie dough. That's definitely what you get. It's that really, really creamy bakery cookie dough scent that just smells incredible. Really, really warm bakery. And then that gooey, gooey marshmallow. Definitely combined. Now, this was not super strong like I would hope it was. It was it was medium. It was not anything crazy. So, um I didn't I won't repurchase I won't repurchase from the bathing garden anyway, but um it wasn't strong at all. This one was strong and this was also from the bathing garden in Cheshire Cat. Now this smells like lemons and I believe raspberries. I'm not positive on both of the scents, but I pick up on a really, really strong lemon. I don't know what happened to my camera here. There you go. Really, really, really strong lemon for sure. Definitely a strong lemon scent. And maybe a hint of raspberry. This one was pretty strong, though. I only used two cubes at a time in my warmer, and it filled up my room. Next... I finished from Party Light. This is in the scent Tropical Waters. Now, the only thing I did not like is this odd smell to it. I don't know if it was the coconut. I don't know what it was. But there's this some strong note in it that just turned me off. It was not, it was not a pleasant scent melting at all. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was like a tropical water, but it was like a musky coconut or... Or something like that. It's absolutely it was terrible. I did not like it. I finished up um, two centerpiece cups from Yankee Candle. This first one is in Silver Birch. Is in Silver Birch. And hopefully it'll focus. Nope. Um, this smells like a very, very, um, very men's cologne um, but a wintry men's cologne. There's more of that crisp snow in there, I would say, but, um, men's cologne scents are really hard to describe, but it's, it was good. Um, it was pretty strong. This one was not strong at all, and this is in Candy Cane Lane. I had, well, I had a large jar, which I still have halfway burning. Oh, no, I don't. I finished it. Huh, duh. It's right here. I also have it in a large jar that is finished. It blew itself out the next time I went to light it, but it did burn pretty clean, um, but overall scent, not very strong. It smelled like a candy cane with uh, chocolate, but not really strong at all. I finished a Front Porch Candle Company candle in pumpkin sugar cookie dough bread, and this was very odd. Oh, well now it just smells sooty, but um, it has extremely strong scent, which for the scent that it was, I did not want it to be that strong. I went in my room and I was overpowered with this pumpkin scent that was like, it was a weird pumpkin. It was almost like fresh pumpkin, not not cinnamony. I don't know. It just wasn't good. I also finished Not Much to Talk About. This is an unscented Fairy Secrets Moisturizing Lotion Candle. And you actually burn the candle, and um, once it's melted, you stick your fingers in it, and it's actually lotion. So it uh, goes on a couple degrees above body temperature, so it just really melts right into your skin and leaves you moisturized all day. It's pretty good. I finished a three-wick candle from Party Light in Mulberry. And um, it burned pretty clean all the way down. I love this scent from Party Light. It is my favorite scent. I don't really like Party Light as a whole company because I feel like the scents are just not there. But Mulberry is one that I will continue to repurchase because it is just fantastic. It's not overly cinnamon, not overly fruity. It's not actually cinnamon at all. 
it's just this really rich, warm berry scent. I finished from Bath and Body Works Mint Chocolate. Now, I love this scent from any company. I love this mint chocolate chip ice cream scent. And this was no exception. It was super strong, burned evenly. Love that. One on the total opposite of the spectrum, which was absolutely disgusting, was Snap Peas. I hate this scent. It just gags me. I don't even want to smell it. Um, it burned okay. It just reeks. It smells literally like dirt and peas. It's ugh, it's terrible. I finished one of the Ellen candles I bought from QVC, and um, after it was done burning, I stuck it on the candle warmer to get every last scent out because I love this scent. It's called Frosted Berries, but I feel like it was so much more complex than just a berry scent. It had that winter crisp snow. It had the um, warm notes to it, but it was just a great scent for the holiday. And I'm actually going to pop this in the freezer and use this as a uh, jar. Next, I have this hair. Um is a woodwick candle called Perfect Pear. Now, I like woodwick candles. They're definitely not my favorite brand, but um, they burn pretty clean except for this spot right here. Um, I love the crackle that, that it makes. I think that's really, really, really cool. And um, overall, it was just a really, really good candle. It smells just like a crisp pear. So that was all the waxy home fragrances that I have. Now on to the beauty products. I finished up a L'Occitane Lavender Liquid Soap. I actually didn't finish it up. This is just the empty pouch. You, They actually sell uh, full-size hand washes, and they sell eco-refills. So you literally unscrew, unscrew this. And then you can go ahead and pour this in. I actually keep this by my kitchen. The lavender liquid soap, I think it's a great scent to use all the time. And I just finished it, so I dumped this whole eco refill right in there. Nice and simple. You can recycle this, and you don't waste, you're not hurting the environment. Also from L'Occitane, I finished a repairing conditioner. Now, I do use Wen for my hair, so I actually didn't use this. I used this um, for... Um, my sister, my little sister, she used it. She didn't have tangles in her hair, so I guess it worked. I finished an almond shower oil, which is one of my holy grail products from L'Occitane. It smells amazing. It smells like um, warm vanilla and apple blossom. And it's instead of a shower oil, it's an or instead of a shower gel, it's an oil. So it's really moisturizing in the wintertime. It's great. Also from L'Occitane, I finished a 10% Shea Butter Rose Heart Ultra Soft Cream. And this is awesome. Um, what's really cool about their soft creams is the insides can actually pop out. So I took the inside and threw that in the recycling bin. And now I have a little tin that I can use for like paper clips or whatever. But um, anyway, the Rose Heart scent is a super, super light, authentic rose scent. And the uh, texture is great. It's just a nice, soft, it is a soft cream. Like, it's a soft, but uh, really rich, dense cream. I also finished the L'Occitane Ultra Rich Shower Cream. And this I used, um, it, there's still a tiny little bit left, but I really can't get it out. Um, what's awesome about this product is it does not lather a whole lot because it's so ultra moisturizing. There's 5% of shea butter in here and it um it just really takes care of the itchy skin. I like to use this. This really helps with my feet. Even just to like put a thick layer on before I get in a bathtub and just let it soak on my feet. It feels really good. Then I finished from Crabtree and Evelyn a Citron Honey and Coriander Deep Cleansing Hand Wash. Now, I like their hand washes a lot. The deep cleansing ones, the pumps were really, really hard. Like, you would push the pump down, and it would take forever for the pump to go back up. But um, it was really great. It left your hands super soft because it just you got, like, a little mini manicure every single time you washed your hands. And the scent is just... It smells just like the Crabtree and Evelyn store. Awesome, very lemony, very sweet, and just like that little perk of a peppery coriander. I finished from Josie Marin, which she is a model who infuses all of her products 
with argon oil and this is her argon sugar balm body scrub well that did not focus at all her argon sugar balm body scrub in moroccan escape and this smells it's supposed to be like a vanilla pear but in my opinion it smells like sweet tarts and this left your whole body so soft i used it for my neck down it probably gave me four whole body applications so because it's just a small size but it is such a good product left your skin so soft and it left me scented a little bit it wasn't super super scented i finished a body shop shower gel in chocomania now i use the body shop shower gels as um bubble bath because i'm not a big fan of the body shop like i used to be um and I just want to use up the product, so like once a month I'll pour the whole bottle in and have a luxurious bath. I finished three shower gels, three mini shower gels from Philosophy. Cinnamon Buns, which is actually their original shower gel, their first shower gel they ever came out with. And it smells just like the real thing, it smells just like Cinnamon Buns. I finished Half a Cherry Christmas, which is awesome. It smells like a really, really, really... Um, effervescent cherry, real bubbly cherry. Almost like a Shirley Temple. And then I finished Snow Angel, which is Sweetly Fallen Snow. And this is a great scent, too. It's really warm, but it has this apple to it that's really, really cool. I finished the Gingerbread Man Hand Wash from Philosophy as well. And this is um, not like a gingerbread, like it would suggest with the name. It's more of an very strong, fresh ginger scent with a little bit of lemon. And the last two products are WEN products. One is the WEN 613 Daily Cleansing Treatment, which is a deep treatment for your hair that you can use every single day. You can mix it with your other cleansing conditioners. It is fantastic, and it smells awesome, as well as the 613 Ultra nourishing intensive body treatment um i used this up till the last bit like there is nothing left in this treatment it's such a great scent love it ultra nourishing chazidine is amazing his 613 line is my favorite i am super sad that i am out of the 613 cleansing treatment because i don't have any more but i did just get two 32 ounce bottles of the bamboo green tea in the mail that i will be using now in place of this until i get some more but anyway, guys, that was my empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Stay warm. I know I live in the East Coast, and we're getting a ton of snow. We're getting a ton more over the weekend. Just a ton of snow and not prepared for it. So, okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.